Hello guys, in this video I will show you the autosomal DNA result. So the predicted phenotype uh, traits and of course the GD match results of a Bronze Age woman from Siberia. Uh, this woman belonged to the Okunovo Bronze Age culture. Now what's interesting about this Okunovo culture uh, is that it's a Siberian Bronze Age culture that descends from uh, mostly ancient North Eurasians, but also from East Eurasians and also has a little bit of a contribution from Yamnaya or Afanasyevo like people. So it's got a little bit of Indo-European ancestry too. Uh, this culture is ancestral to Finno-Uralic people, so the ancestors of Finns, Estonians, Hungarians, but also to the Turkic people. And uh, in case you believe in the whole Ural Altaic language family, that this is one big language family and they all share a common ancestor, this individual and this culture is a good candidate for being that common ancestor. Moving on to phenotype, this is her phenotype with Maina Shakot. Maina Shakot predicts her to have uh, brown eyes, Greek shaped nose and black hair. Wysek actually also predicts her to have uh, brown eyes and black hair, but uh, Snipper Free is kind of different here because Snipper Free is predicting her to have green or hazel eyes, which is very interesting. I'm not sure why the prediction for green or hazel eyes, that seems really random. Why would they? And it was a... Um, it wasn't like a low quality prediction either because most of the SMPs were there so I, I don't know why it's green or hazel but she did not have BH2 or BH3 or BH4 so probably had dark eyes indeed and actually you can see her I depicted her hair uh, with kind of a West Eurasian or Caucasoid phenotype that's because she did not have East Asian EDAR gene. Now just to show you what I'm talking about, this is one of the big variations in EDAR that is linked to the main variation which she was not genotyped for, so that's why I had to use like the sideline, but with the sideline she's got GG which is a typical genotype for Europeans and Africans, very atypical for East Asians, so she doesn't have the East Asian EDAR, and um, she also did not have the European no-go learner mutation in DRD2, so probably had an increased risk of schizophrenia compared to Europeans, and she had the A2A2 genotype in TAC1 region of DRD2, so that's a very typical human homo and genotype. In fact, uh, on my channel I've seen, I've posted videos of various monkeys and apes. Monkeys and apes tend to have A1A1 here. According to her genotype in this variation of ACT1, she had lower odds of cannabis-induced psychosis, which is a very uh, typical result for Spanish people actually. And she did not have the warrior gene, but this is the MAOA warrior gene. This is not the Compt warrior gene, so don't get those two confused, although they are similar in what they do. And um, she also had the lack of empathy mutation. So she had, she was heterozygous for the sociopath gene, she was heterozygous for derived OXTR. Moving on to polygenic traits, she had a pretty high risk score for type 2 diabetes. Uh, she also had a pretty high above average risk score for Parkinson's disease. She also had an above average risk score for brain aneurysm. Uh, she had an average risk score for bipolar disorder. Uh, she had a below average risk score for schizophrenia and she had a below average risk score for asthma. This is her result with Eurogene's K13. Now here you see the majority is uh, Siberian and Amerindian if you add those together, plus the South Asian, that's going to be more than half of her. But uh, with the Oracle, she's actually closest to Marie and Shores. And Marie are uh, a group of Finnish finno ugric people and Shores are Siberian Turkic. So she's kind of like clo equally close to the Marie and the Shores here. And she's getting modeled as a mixture of Marie plus West Greenlander or MA1, which is uh, ancient North Eurasian plus Kiel. So clearly you can see she's got a lot of ancient North Eurasian like ancestry and with MZLP K11 this is what she scores she's actually scoring a lot of Amerindian and the combination of Amerindian EHG and VHG here is very signature signature combination for ancient North Eurasians but with the Oracle she's actually closest to Akunovo Bronze Age and I'm surprised I'm so surprised that uh, the Oracle here had Akunovo Bronze Age as a reference but she's getting modeled as a mixture of Akunovo Bronze Age plus a little bit of Amerindian just a little bit a tiny bit so maybe this sample is a little bit more shifted towards Amerindians relative to the reference for Akunovo here and here's the official G25 for this sample that I found on Explore Your DNA. Now this is not really quite similar to uh, Eurogene's K13 or the MZLP results. It's looking kind of interesting, like Hanti plus Jat plus Hui Cho seems like, sounds like some kind of a Native American group. So it's just all over the place, but mainly, uh, mainly Siberian and Amerindian is what I'm getting here. And uh, this is what she scores with PanDNA LK10. Now here you see the combination of Beringian plus Western Hunter Gatherer plus CHG plus Amerindian is a very signature ancient North Eurasian uh, thing to score. And uh, with the Oracle, she's actually getting modeled as a mixture of Chuwash plus Eskimo or Russian plus Eskimo or Finnish plus Eskimo. So kind of a mixture of Northeast European plus Eskimo. But you know the distances are very high, so obviously you can't get uh, you can't get this individual. You cannot get her by mixing a modern. Northeast European plus a modern Eskimo.
The thing is uh, with all these admixture tools is that they find the closest population to you, but the closest does not actually mean close, it just means the closest. And uh, this is what she scores with Panzian LK12. Now here I'm going to go ahead and say that the Amerindian is probably the ancient North Eurasian source and the Beringian and Siberian is the uh, East Eurasian source of her ancestry and she's getting modeled as a mixture of MA1 which is an ancient North Eurasian plus all kinds of groups actually and there's MA1 plus Tartsevo which is a European farmer, there's MA1 plus uh, Kastienki, there's MA but these are all very high distances so these results don't really mean anything. This is her result with ancient Eurasia K6. You can see the dominant component here is East Asian which kind of represents her uh, more recent Siberian ancestry, but she's also got 31.8% ancestral North Eurasian, which represents Ice Age Siberian ancestry. Uh, so with the oracle here, she's getting modeled as a mixture of Clovis plus Steppe, and Clovis is actually a uh, Native American. So she's basically a mixture of Native American plus Steppe, according to this calculator here. And finally, this is what she scores with Gedrosia K3. As you can see, she's a pretty stable, even uh, blend between East Eurasian or I don't want to say the oid word because it's YouTube and uh, West Eurasian or Caucasoid. Thank you guys for watching until the end of the video. You can actually download the sample in 23andMe format from link which is in the description and leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.